Hiya everybody, so welcome to Teenage Yoga. I'm sorry I missed last week, but it was a big shock um, that a lot of my work had been cancelled, but I'm getting my head around going online now. So I've set up um, in the hall here at home and um, hopefully these sessions will improve as time goes on and I get better at this, so bear with me. But I do think that our yoga practice can be really useful in times like these. So hopefully this session will help you. I know that school's been cancelled and things are very up in the air and a bit confusing and it's very uncertain time. So I thought we could start with um, a guided meditation. It's a, a mountain meditation to help us get grounded. So find something to sit on, whether it's a cushion or if your parents have got a block, you can use a yoga block, maybe something like that. Just sitting on that to raise the seat up. And then place the hands on the knees and close the eyes. And we'll just take a few moments here in stillness. Feeling the weight of the seat against the block and the sides of the feet against the floor. And then pressing down into the seat, find length through the top of the head and soften the shoulders away from the ears. Soften the muscles in the face and the jaw. Soften the forehead. And to start with, just notice sounds around you. So just tuning in to sounds around you. Allow the sounds to come into the mind, watch them and then let them go, like passing clouds in the night sky. Now start to bring your attention to your breath, noticing the inhale and the exhale of the breath. So as you inhale, the air goes in through the nostrils. And as you exhale, it exits out of the nostrils. And then take a deep breath in, hold it at the top of the inhale. And exhale out of the mouth. And again, taking a deep breath in. Exhale out. And then take a deep breath in.
sit tall and proud and observe the breath without interfering. Picture your favourite mountain. Imagine its shape. Is it tall or steeply sloping? Do its roots spread wide? Is it massive and solid? Sit and breathe with this image as if you were inhaling the mountain into your being, making it part of you. Feel the majesty of the mountain within. Keep visualising the mountain within as if your head were the peak and your body the depth and breadth of the mountain. Your legs the roots burrowing into the soil. As you feel the body of the mountain within your body, sense as if it is lifting you upward and filling you outward. See the sun rise and fall, the stars emerge in their millions and the moon radiate on your slopes. See summer with its brightness merge into autumn and as the leaves start to fall you let go a little more. The winter comes and brings more weather that cloaks your body until it softly melts to spring. All this time you are unmoving, accepting of all the seasons, the light and dark, the cold and warmth. Everything in our lives is constantly changing. Nature, our bodies, our minds. Like the mountain, we have periods of light and dark, warmth and coldness, joy and sorrow, the weather of our minds. Can you sit amidst it all in calm abidance, feeling ease within your body? In this moment, can you feel equanimous and non-reactive to the ever-changing kaleidoscope of your life? Feel as if you are the mountain, accepting all, rejecting nothing. And then just gently blinking the eyes open. And we spoke last session that I was with you about contentment. That was the second of the Niyamas. So this week we're going to talk about fire, mastery through devotion, which is the third niyama is called tapas and the quote is the practice must be steady, continuous over a period of time and it's called tapas so tap means heat, flame or fire, cleanse. So it is a slow burning desire or fiery resolve to move forward by directing our energy into what is essential in life. Change often involves creating friction as we rub against the grain of our habits, wants and desires. The heat this causes shakes up our complacency and builds resolve to stand vigil to our healing. With the act of tapas, we learn to say no to temporary fixes we employ in our life and yes to a longer term goal. Instead of avoiding our life or placing a band-aid over the things that are no longer working, we tap into the flame of our desire and practice to raise our vibration. 
Tapas helps us set boundaries around the actions, thoughts and behaviours that are obstacles to our personal development. Once the fire is lit, it burns bright. So maybe think this week about what habits you can manifest to help you through this time of change. So like for example, for me, I'm finding that going for a run every couple of days is helping me to stay healthy in my mental health. So maybe think of habits and disciplines that you're gonna to use to help you get through this time when you're not at school. Maybe you've got a hobby, Maybe you're gonna start a new hobby that you can do at home. Um, maybe you're gonna learn something new out of this and that's gonna be a positive thing that will come out of this time of lockdown for us. So have a think about that, okay? So we'll start now the physical practice. So just taking your block away from underneath your seat going to bring the video a little tiny bit closer so you can see me better you can see the harmonium now so we're going to start seated cross-legged start with your right leg in front of your left Right leg high. Next, 
inhale plank, exhale knees, chest, chin, inhale cobra, exhale tuck toes, bend knees, downward dog. And then we'll do that on the other side. So inhale, raise the left leg high. Exhale, step the foot between the hands. Inhale, stepping the back foot to meet the front. Lifting the chest. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach the arms high. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, lift the chest and step the right foot back. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. We're going to do all of that again one more time now. So inhale, raise the right leg high. Exhale, step the foot between the hands.
take the hands to the floor, tuck the back toe under, press the right hand into the floor, inhale the left arm back, exhale forwards, it's like you're swimming through water, exhale forwards, inhale back, exhale forwards and then we're going to walk the hands again, this time interlace the hands behind the back, and draw the hands overhead, three breaths. Release the hands to the floor and walk the hands back to the front of the mat. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. And then take three breaths in downward dog. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale. Exhale. Breathing in. Breathing out. Good everyone. Inhale, raise the right leg high. Exhale, step the foot between the hands. We're going to open out into warrior two now. Sink down into that front knee, look over your front hand and take three breaths. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Exhale, take your right forearm onto your thigh. I'm going to move it back a bit, just so you can see me better. And then reach your left arm overhead. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, come back up to warrior two. Exhale. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Exhale, take the hands either side of the foot. Inhale, back into plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. And then we're going to do all of that on the other side. So inhale, raise the left leg high. Exhale, step the foot between the hands. Open out into warrior two. Three
and then place the left hand just inside the right foot or just outside, adjust your feet if you need to, turn to your right and raise your right hand high, three breaths. your right hand inside your front foot, raise your left hand, look up at your left thumb, three breaths. Revolve triangle. Come back to centre, step onto the left foot, take the right leg back, place the right hand under the right shoulder, left hand to sacrum and turn to the left. Revolved half moon. And then take a big step back, drop the back knee, bring the hands together into prayer again. And this time we're going to turn to our left. So right arm onto left thigh, bring the hands together, twist. Maybe tuck that toe under or you can lead the knee down. I'm falling again. <laughs> Three breaths. So take your time finding this one, guys. And then come back to center and step back into downward dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Up dog, exhale, downward dog. Three breaths. And then inhale, raise the right leg high. Exhale, bring it through to pigeon. Take the left leg back. Right hand onto the thigh and the left hand onto the foot. Roll the shoulders back and take three breaths. And then we're going to exhale, fold forward. So resting the hands on the floor. Inhale, 
arm lifting the chest, taking the left leg around, crossing it over the right, raising your right arm high, taking it behind your left thigh, inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist, breathing in, breathing out, maybe bring your hands into prayer, one more breath. lower now just to do the last few postures before we do the yoga nidra so we're going to come down onto our backs now for bridge so coming onto your back place your feet flat on the floor reach your fingertips towards your heels and then lift the pelvis lower back middle back Upper back, into this quite back, and roll the shoulders under, three breaths. Release the arms and slowly lower down, and then just sway your knees from side to side. 
place your right hand on your belly and your left hand on your heart space and just close your eyes for a moment and notice how you're feeling in this moment. Let the feelings come and let the feelings go. And then either come back into bridge or come into four wheel. So if you're coming into four wheel, keep your face the same way, hands behind you. I know this is your favourite part of the class, so just take your time here everyone. So grab a blanket, if you've got a blanket or you can even grab your duvet from your bed. If you've got an eye bag, grab that and get comfy, so get ready for Yoga Nidra. So I'll give you just a few minutes just to get ready for Yoga Nidra. So making sure you're as comfortable as you can be, ready for the practice of Yoga Nidra. Notice the connection through the back of the body to the earth. So through the back of the head, the 
backs of the shoulders, the buttocks and the heels. Noticing your connection to the earth. And then bringing the attention to the front of the body. Notice the rise and fall of the front of the body with the rise and fall of the breath. And just know that for the next 15 minutes, you have nothing to do, nowhere to go, nobody to please and no responsibilities. This is your time and you are about to practice Yoga Nidra. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home to your true self. And then if you have a Sankalpa, which is Sanskrit for resolution or resolve, let's journey to the heart space now and repeat it three times to ourselves. So this is usually a positive affirmation said in the present tense so I am or we are so just repeat that to yourself now three times and then we're going to take a journey around the body and as we come to each part of the body, just bring in the awareness and the attention to that part of the body will help you to relax mind and body on a much deeper level. So starting with the right thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, little finger, all the fingers and thumb on the right hand, palm of the right hand, back of the right hand, right wrist, forearm, elbow, top of the right arm, right armpit and shoulder, the whole of the right arm, the whole of the right arm, right side body, waist, hip, top of the right thigh, right knee, shin, ankle, top of the right foot, arch of the right foot, sole of the right foot, right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe and fifth toe, the whole of the right side body, the whole of the right side of the body. And then moving over to the left side of the body, starting with the left thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, little finger, all the fingers and thumb on the left hand, palm of the left hand, back of the left hand, left wrist, forearm, elbow, top of the left arm, left armpit and shoulder, 
the whole of the left arm, the whole of the left arm, left side body, waist, hip, top of the left thigh, left knee, shin, ankle, top of the left foot, arch of the left foot, sole of the left foot, left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe and fifth toe. The whole of the left side body, the whole of the left side of the body. Left side, right side, both sides together. Right side, left side, both sides together. The whole body, the whole body. And then bringing the attention to the points of contact with the floor. So the right heel, the left heel, right buttock, left buttock, right shoulder blade, left shoulder blade, and the back of the head. The back of the head. The whole of the back of the body. The whole of the back of the body. And then move down the front of the body to the point, uh, to the starting with the crown of the head, the forehead, right eyebrow, left eyebrow, right eyelid, left eyelid. Right cheekbone, left cheekbone, right nostril, left nostril, top lip, bottom lip, the whole of the inside of the mouth, the chin, the throat, right collarbone, left collarbone, right chest, left chest, right rib cage, left rib cage, the whole abdomen, the whole abdomen, right pelvis, left pelvis and the groin, the whole body, the whole body, bring in the attention and the awareness to the whole body, the whole body. Imagine that it is very early morning, still dark, and you're walking through hills, climbing up towards some mountains you are alone. You are walking east and if you look back you can see a crescent shaped moon low in the sky. Soon the sun will rise over the mountains ahead of you. Far below in a valley the lights of a small town twinkle through an early morning mist. The track twists back and forth on the side of a steep slope. It winds between huge boulders and over bridges suspended across deep chasms. A gap between two hills gives a glimpse of a huge snow-covered mountain ahead. The pale sky behind it heralds the dawn. You climb up through snow. It makes a crunching sound as you break the surface and sink in. A glacier lies across your path. 
There are creaks and groans of moving ice as you quickly move across. Near the top of the mountain, it becomes very cold. Winds howl around your body and snatch at your clothes. Snow and ice cling to your shoes. You reach the top and a magnificent scene reveals itself before your eyes. To the east, a vast range of snow-covered peaks and dark valleys. To the west, hills leading to rolling plains and the sea. Intensify your imagination and visualise this scene. See the sun rise like a golden ball in the east, scattering rays of golden light of snow that dazzles your eyes. Sweep your eyes around the sky. To the west it is still grey. Above you blue. In the east a delicate pink as it nears the sun. Watch the sunlight strike the tops of mountains and move down their sides. Deep valleys emerge as the shadows retreat. You sit with legs crossed and contemplate this grand scene, the dawn of a new day. Let yourself experience this for some time. Let your mind flow freely with this experience. Imagine that you are on the ceiling and you see below your body lying in Savasana on the floor, practicing yoga nidra beside other people. Now see your body slowly stand up and tiptoe to the door. Quietly open it and go outside, closing the door softly behind you. See your body walking outside this building. See the familiar things around you. There is no sense of effort, only lightness. You meet some people that you know. See them, but they can't see you. Watch them as they walk past. Perhaps they are making their usual conversation. Suddenly you find that your body is floating over the sea Become aware of this. See the dark blue sea glistening below. Across its surface a ship is, is steaming. Your body floats like a cloud. Wherever the wind blows the clouds, your body is also blown. Wisps of cloud brush past your face. Below you sunlight reflects off banks of white cloud. Above you, puffs of clouds scurry across a blue sky. Now your body is lifted by currents of air and carried over the land. On the ground below, you see farmhouses, carefully laid out fields, thick forests, winding rivers that reflect the sun. Pause a moment and look closely at yourself. Your body is totally relaxed and on your face is an expression of peace and calm. See your body is an expression of, sorry, see your body suddenly immersed in colour as it passes through a rainbow. Feel yourself washed and purified by subtle colours, yellow, green, blue, violet, Red, orange, golden, yellow. Feel the colours penetrating your whole body, nourishing and invigorating you at some deep level. Then slowly make your return. See your body return to the outside of this building. See again the familiar objects. Quietly open the door, walk inside and close it after you. You lie down on the floor, taking care not to disturb other people. Now see your body slowly practicing some asanas, postures.
your body rests again in Savasana. So just start to notice the sounds around you. So the sounds outside the building. Start to take a few deeper breaths. Wiggle the fingers and the toes. Stretch the arms overhead, stretch the legs out. And we'll go back to the heart space. And if you had a Sankalpa, just repeat it to yourself three more times. I am or we are. And then draw your knees into your chest, roll over onto your right hand side and just come back up to a seated position to finish the session. Place the hands on the knees and close the eyes. Let's finish by chanting three yams together. So taking a deep breath in. Bring the hands to heart centre. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale to bow the head. Inhale to blink open the eyes. Namaste. So thanks everyone and I will see you for another session. Um, I'll send this session over and I'll get another one recorded for you as well, which will be with you uh, during the week so you can practice it while you're off school. Okay, take care out there everyone and um, remember, find some stuff that you can get into. Maybe read those books that you haven't ever read that were on the shelf or tidy a part of your bedroom or something. Do some stuff that you need to do that can get done and um, hopefully this won't go on for too much longer but just take care and yeah namaste bye bye